Well, one thing about our list is that we cover so many different types of animals throughout each one, and we don't discriminate on what period we cover those animals in. We love to cover all sorts of different beasts and creatures that leave people scratching their heads in wonder. That's the beauty of the world we live in. You never really know what you're going to discover or come across. So you'll have one individual tiny animal, a single cell, and they'll reproduce asexually and then develop an entire colony. And sometimes those things are just downright unbelievable. But have no fear, because we're not sparing the ones that you won't believe. Those types of animals happen to be the best because they get people talking. They get people wondering, and they get people researching. But you don't have to research because we did that for you. And today, we're bringing you a list where if these creatures were not filmed, no one would even believe it. So grab your popcorn and get ready to learn about some animals that you won't believe exist. <laughs> Globster. There's a reason why sometimes horror movies aren't set in dank mansions, but instead they're set in places that you wouldn't expect to see a crazy animal in. It's always the place you least expect that you come across an animal that's just downright spooky. From its name, its look, and the way it behaves, some animals are left best for the movie screens so that you don't have to worry about them in real life. But unfortunately for some beachgoers, they happen to come across a stringy, white-haired animal that's named a globster. It's got to look somewhat like a lobster, right? Well, let's take a look at that and you be the judge. We promise we won't make you eat it. That's up to you. Now, unlike lobsters, this globster happens to be the size of a truck and it's unpleasant to look at. It washed up on a beach in Oregon and remains a mystery despite this gargantuan size. It was a resident named Adoni who had discovered the thing while diving along the coast near Florence. Most people are describing it as a monster, and it doesn't help that the creature is covered in long white hair and also smelled like a decomposing mammal. It's something that will make you lose your lunch. As for what it is, the jury is still out on that one, but no one can deny that it looks like some sort of sea monster. So, you've gotten past the globster, unfortunately for you, we've only scratched the surface when it comes to animals that are just downright unbelievable. And of course, a little bit spooky. The next one feels like it might top them all just by the picture alone. It's hard to look at. Yet, it's also hard to look away. We don't quite know what we're looking at, to be honest. All we know is that it's some sort of animal in a muzzle. There are plenty of questions surrounding whether or not this animal is happy, in pain, went through something tragic, or was born like this. The picture itself comes from Kentucky. The ranch that it had come from no longer exists. Also, the rancher who had taken this photo cannot be found. Now, we don't quite know if this is a horse or a dog. And we also don't know if it's some sort of other animal. But there are some clues in the background if you look closely. It kind of looks like there's a car door back there. This could mean that it's a dog or some sort of smaller animal, not a horse. But again, nothing is conclusive. Everything is super vague and open to interpretation. What do you think the animal happens to be? And why does it look the way it looks? Let us know in the comment section below with a hashtag, open discussion, and let your voice be heard. Spiny Crab. All right, now we move away from the horrifying back to kind of the beach. We're not going exactly to the beach, but we're going to show you what creatures you would probably find there. The thing is, when it comes to the ocean, there are always going to be several creatures that you don't expect to be there. This is because the ocean is huge. There are so many parts of it that still have not been ventured into. No matter how much terrain man has thought they have covered in the ocean, there's still about 90% of it that's unexplored. And of course, there are so many creatures down there that if they weren't filmed, you wouldn't believe they existed. Lucky for us, when it comes to the spiny king crab, we have some evidence that's going to blow your mind. The funny thing about this one is that this kind of crab looks spiky rather than spiny. It lives on the deepest depths of the seafloor and scours it for live food, as it eats other crabs and sea stars. If it can't find food, it finds dead animals to eat. Not only is it a creepy animal, but it's also a terrible one that eats dead things. Hooded Nudie Branch The next one on our list proves that nature still knows how to surprise. It's just something about biodiversity that keeps people intrigued, and we know that this nice one on our list fits in line with that category. There's a fictional presence about this one that almost seems like it's out of a novel or some big budget movie with special effects. 
You're not going to find this in your everyday town, but you will go and find it if you search hard enough and parts of the world that aren't often visited. Once again, if this wasn't caught on film, you would probably think it didn't exist, or it was made up for a story. But let's take a look at this one and you'll see exactly what we mean by that. At first glance, it almost seems transparent. It's got a clear coloration around a shaped hood, and some with speed tentacles. You would think that it's a jellyfish, but it's a sea slug. They grow to about 3 to 4 inches long and tend to be categorized by the hood itself. They catch their prey by using a similar method to a Venus flytrap. They feed on moving prey in shallow waters, and are usually feeding themselves by sunflower sea stars. They're a unique sea creature that isn't like anything else. But we think we'll be keeping our distance from this one. Dobson Fly No matter what part of the world you're traveling to, you'll most likely find one living that's common across the mall. Of course, we borrow places with severe weather like Antarctica, but even there, you might even find one. We're talking about flies. Flies are something that inhabit the world in all sorts of places. Humans tend to find them annoying. If you see one in your kitchen, you're probably swatting at it. In other places with a lot of heat, flies are normalized and don't bother anything. It's a pretty interesting thing to see how the perception of a creature can change based on its location. But it's also interesting to find new breeds of flies that are out there. Or maybe that's just us. In any case, we're going to show you the Dobson fly. If you think that you were going to learn about a different type of fly today, well, you were wrong. The funny thing about this one is that it may be named a fly, but it looks like a giant ugly roach. It belongs to a group of insects in the subfamily of Caridolini. They have four wings that are shaped like a net. When they're resting, their wings lock up over a flap on their back. Let's just say they're not like a lot of other insects that you see today. They're no threat to us. But as for other insects, we would not want to be them, because these things are monstrous. Loudest Worm When you think of worms, you probably think of these small, slithering things that inhabit the Earth in one way or another. They're probably not on your radar for the most part. You probably don't think about them very often. And if you see one, you might be a little bit squeamish. This is only because you don't see them often unless, of course, you work with them or you go to school for them. Whatever the case may be, for the most part, people just don't care for worms. Oddly enough, there's a lot of media. They're used in reality shows like Fear Factor, characters on Sesame Street, and of course featured in horror movies. What if we took everything you knew about worms and flipped it on its head? Because when you think of a worm, you don't often think of it as being loud. But guess what? We found you the loudest worms. Now it's thought that these fighting worms make these noises because they're fighting. They're almost like battle cries. You can find these worms living off the coast of Japan, and they fight by headbutting each other. They admit one of the laws that sound in the ocean. So there you have it. You thought that worms were just docile creatures. Think again, because they're warriors. Gannett. Sometimes in this world you come across a creature that you think you know how to classify. But then, one closer look and you're scratching your head a whole lot more. Because this next one on our list falls into the category of being uncategorized, if that makes any sense. It's hard to define something that looks like more than one thing. Even harder to define something that looks like it should be a house pet, while also being out in the wild. It's going to get people talking and thinking about it for some time. Well, let's stop talking about it and just get to it. Because we're about to tell you everything you need to know about the Gannett. It kind of looks like a cat, a squirrel, a tiger, and maybe a mouse. Whether in all reality they're long lean carnivores that are found in arid regions. Catch prey kind of like cats. All of these specimens have retractable claws, and they have these spots to blend in with their habitat. Unfortunately, they're hunted as pests. A lot of scientists are trying to find out ways where they can protect these creatures. So even though they're not defined, there are still people out there willing to save them. We think they're kind of cute. Star-nosed mole. It wouldn't be a complete list without a cute little animal to leave you thinking. But of course, all cuteness is subjective. Someone may find it cute, while others may find it horrendously hideous. We wonder what you're going to think about this next one on our list, as nature has brought us something pretty extraordinary. It's the characteristic of this next creature that defines it completely. You know when you just see an animal and it's got to be named after what it looks like? Like when you think of a zebra, you think of stripes. Well, with this next one, you may think of a mole. Can you find a mole cute? You'll have to be the judge of that one. 
because this is one unique looking critter. Unlike the last one, we don't think this one is cute. We think it's kind of grotesque, kind of like a shrunken head chicken. It's a subterranean mammal that looks like a furball that's trying to swallow a rat. It travels through tunnels using its front claws while living in the dark. The eyes were so pretty much useless, and the only way that'll locate its prey is through 11 pairs of finger-like tentacles that surround its snout. It's an animal that doesn't make any sense while having 100,000 nerve fibers. It can even smell in underwater tunnels. They do this by blowing air bubbles onto objects. It seems like a superhero of a species, yet it's unpleasant to look at. What do you think about it? Let us know in the comment section below. Eel Gobi. The name itself sounds like something out of a Super Mario game. But we promise you, this next one on our list is everything but fake. It falls in line with the whole theme of people not believing this one would exist if it hadn't been filmed. No, it takes us back to what we were saying about the oceans. There's just so much that hasn't been explored. And because of that, every single day there seems to be a new creature being discovered by scientists all around the world. And of course, some of those creatures belong to different categories of animals. And the one we're about to talk about happens to fall in line with the eel family. If you don't like eels, look away. Because this one's about to get aquatic. If you take a look at this creature, you'll know that you can barely see his eyes. If it has any at all. The teeth look like something out of a horror movie. Some people compare it to Voldemort from Harry Potter. You can find these creatures off the Malaysian coast and are usually caught by fishermen. There isn't much known about this creature because not many people catch them. You'd rarely see him on camera. But now that you have seen it, you can believe that it exists. We just hope that we won't be seeing a lot more of it because it's downright frightening. Damascus Goat We all look forward to the discovery of new animals every day because, after all, who doesn't want to live in the time where an animal had been discovered for the first time? Imagine growing up and your generation was the one that discovered animals. It's just a cool thing to hang on to your hat. But there are two sides to every coin. Not every discovery is going to be a joyous one. Not every animal that you find will be stunning to look at either. Some of them might even make you do a double take. We think this next one on our list, it's just as we bring up the Damascus goat. It's not the prettiest animal in the animal kingdom, but it's unique all in itself. This animal first gained notoriety through a viral video that came out of Egypt. It was posted in a Facebook group geared towards buying and selling goats in the country. It doesn't look like your average goat, but that's exactly what it is. And because it looks a little different, that's why it went viral. This specific goat is a prize-winning species native to Syria, Cyprus, and Lebanon. It's supposed to have a superior quality of milk as well, but we think that it's superior in its ability to go viral. Heck, we're even talking about it. Bald Wakari We keep with the trend of animals that are named after what they look like. Those are often the funniest looking animals. The ones you simply wouldn't believe existed unless you saw a picture of it or maybe a video. It's kind of like the bald eagle. The bald eagle has a little bit more respect and pulls off its look in a distinguished fashion. When it comes to the bald wakari, it's got a whole different style to it. It makes you think twice about what type of animals there are out there in the world. And that's why it's part of this list. So let's get to it. Let's talk about what this animal is all about and just why it's super unique. And to be more specific about this animal, it's a type of monkey that's bald. It's got a super red face and kind of makes it look like a superhero villain. They're native to the western Amazon and reside in Peru and Brazil. They prefer forests that tend to flood, and their diets vary from season to season. Sometimes they eat fruits and leaves, and during floods they eat seeds, nuts, and roots. Unfortunately, as unique as these creatures may be, they're threatened by forests lost and hunting. Here's hoping that they don't go extinct because they're not that bad. They're pretty cool to look at. Saiga Antelope Recently, there's been a trend on the internet showing people how big things are compared to how we assume them to be. For example, streetlights look smaller than they are because they're hung up in the middle of the road, creating a trick of the mind that makes them look a little smaller than they really are. A moose is way bigger than you might think it is, and this is because you don't often see it compared to everyday things. But if you sit next to one, it would most likely be taller than you. We bring this up because the one we're going to talk about next happens to be an antelope of a big size. It's called the Saiga Antelope. 
This one kind of looks like it could be a demon, or it's something out of a Christmas movie. One of the most striking features of this antelope is its weird looking nose that almost hangs over its mouth. It's like this because it helps it filter out dust, and cool their bodies down when they're traveling for long distances. This is probably the reason why they tend to live in arid and semi-desert grasslands in places like Kazakhstan, Russia, Mongolia, and pretty much the rest of Central Asia. So if you're looking for one of these jolly old antelopes, any one of those directions. Because they're herbivores so they won't eat you. Helmet Jellyfish Alright, as you know, when it comes to a list like this, as we count down, the animals get a little bit crazier than the last. We want to bring to you some of the quirkiest and most unbelievable animals out there. We want you to walk away from this list thinking about the world in a different way than you usually do. We want you to understand that there are so many different species out there that just haven't been discovered yet. But the mind-blowing ones, well, that's the next one to fall into that category, because it's the helmet jellyfish. You might want to play football with this one. These creatures truly live in the deep water. You can find them in the world's oceans. All of them except the Black Sea. They usually live below 900 meters, and it's 7,000 meters deep. And in the Antarctic, they grow bigger than anywhere else in the world. There's not much going on for them in their life as they live in eternal darkness. They barely find food, and even have trouble finding mates. Somehow, they still survive though. It's the creepiest thing of all. It sounds like these are one of those animals we should probably just leave alone and be miserable for a while. Maybe someone can convince them to come up to the real world and not live in darkness. Sea Mouse We spoke about how not many people like worms in the world. They're not the first animal that you would go to when you think about the word cute. They're also not creatures that you would keep as pets. Going along with that, there are some creatures out in the world that aren't too popular with the human race. And this is because they're a little bit creepy. They're small and slithering creatures that you can't quite control. We're talking about mice. Mice creep a lot of people out. A lot of people have fears of them. It doesn't help that there's something called the sea mouse. Let's talk about it. Email is a marine worm. Its body happens to be covered in bristles, which makes it look a little furry. At his fringes are beautiful iridescent bristles that can sometimes shimmer blue, green, and even gold. It's an active predator. This means that it hunts small prey. The prey that it hunts are crabs and other worms along the seabed. So it may be the mouse of the sea, but it's also a really good predator. Sounds like a contradiction to us. Bryozoan. Now we move on to the one that belongs in the horror movie. Unfortunately, you can find one in your backyard. Specifically, your backyard pond. We're talking about a bryzoan, and if you're not acquainted with these little creatures, then we're about to introduce them to you. Try to keep an open mind because you are not going to find them falling in your everyday list of normal animals. This creature is considered a moss animal. It's bound together by jelly-like protective sheaths. You can find them submerged on ocean floor surfaces, but also in your backyard. They gather in tubes and small colonies. There's nothing complicated about them as they have a mouth, gut, and tentacles for feeding. They live a simple life and if you ever see them in your backyard, offer them a beer. They probably won't take it, but it'll be a fun nonetheless. Albino orangutan. And last but certainly not least, what would a quirky animal list be without a mind-blowing monkey? We've heard about albino people, but now have you ever heard about an albino orangutan? Well, now you have because that's exactly what we're going to talk about right now. It's the only one known in the world, an orangutan that's completely albino. He was captured in 2017 and underwent two years of rehabilitation, and then they were released into an Indonesian national park. It's pretty crazy to see a monkey that's so different from the rest, but now you know that no matter what species you are, there are always differences that make something special. And there you have it. The world is a crazy place filled with creatures that you wouldn't quite expect to be living on the same plane as us. Whether it's an albino orangutan or a sea mouse, there's always something new sprouting thanks to scientists who search for us. They may do the searching for us, but we're always going to bring it to you. Until next time, stay curious and keep your eyes peeled for the latest animal species to be discovered.